Hi folks, welcome to Nana's Kitchen. Here today I'm going to show you how to cook pilau rice. For pilau rice ingredients, I've got here 800 grams of chicken, which is nicely reasonably cut pieces. The rice which I've been soaking here, there are two cups of rice, and it's very, very important that you soak the rice about four or five hours before you start cooking the pilau. The other ingredients here, you got four green chilies whole and about three green chilies cut into small pieces. We got here tamarind sauce, about two tablespoons of tamarind sauce. You can also make tamarind sauce by soaking the fresh tamarind and then leaving it for about a couple of hours and then squeezing all the pips out of that and make a tamarind. This is easy to make tamarind sauce like that. We have two tablespoons of yogurt. Uh, Two tablespoons of pilau masala, which I'll um, show you later on how to make make it. Uh, we got three medium onions, uh, very coarsely sliced, uh, two bay leaves, a few peppercorns, and cinnamon, black cardamom, and we got um, some black whole cumin. And uh, here we got some three medium size tomatoes chopped and from now on we can start cooking and about four to five tablespoons of oil you can or add ghee or clarified butter what you call it but it's not a good idea because that is very very fatty add the other ingredients of the sisters together with the bay leaves. Give this stir and wait till it pops. It's nice cut. Add the onions. Stir them in. These onions have to be fried till they are very, very brown. In fact, brown up to a stage where they start turning slightly black. This is important because when they start turning just black, they release the aroma and the color. And that aroma and color would have to be embedded into your pilau rice. After about 10 minutes, they are turning brown, but still haven't arrived at the stage. However, do remember that since we want them very, very brown, there's no harm in adding a drop of water to stop them from sticking to the base because you want to make it thick gravy. Turn this color. This is approximately about 12 to 13 minutes since we started. Add the tomatoes. Add the chopped chilies together with the, the tomatoes. Give it a stir. Now, these tomatoes have to be very, very soft before we go to the next step. So soft that you just like a gravy and we have to wait for a few more minutes. And don't forget, keep adding a drop of water to stop them sticking to the bottom. For the biryani masala, or pilai masala, uh, we have got some ingredients over here. We have to grind them. Uh, we've got a couple of bay leaves, uh, one tablespoon of pomegranate seeds, quarter of nutmeg, uh, five green cardamoms, some cinnamon, cinnamon sticks, you've got two black cardamoms, three cloves and a tablespoon of uh, coriander seeds and you've got cumin seeds, about a tablespoon of cumin seeds and a teaspoon of uh, black pepper and right in the middle you've got some one of the um, star anise. Uh, what we do is we just put all the stuff in the grinder and well, there you are. Biryani or pulao misala is ready and it's absolutely nice and mixed together and lovely fragrance. Um, all I need is about two tablespoons of those and the rest of that we can leave it for some other time. This is cooking. We we'll go back to the chicken and add the tamarind sauce. And the biryani masala or pilau masala and the yogurt into the chicken 
and you give it a good mix. We can also at this stage add a teaspoon of salt. You can if you wish add about a tablespoon of chili powder according to taste but I don't think we prefer it so we leave it at that. Similarly the salt is according to your taste. We prefer a very low quantity of salt that's why only about one teaspoon of salt would be sufficient. Let's go back to our tomorrow gravy and see how this is coming on. It's coming on beautifully. It has to be completely one thick mix till the tomatoes have dissolved into it before we add the next step. Uh, now it's a very nice and thick gravy. Time to put the chicken in and give it a nice stir. Mix it well and let it cook for about 10 minutes, stirring in between. between. Do give it a stir, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. After 10 minutes, check it. Ah, oh, it's lovely and beautiful thick gravy. At this particular time, at this stage, you add half a liter of water. And add the green chilies, the whole one. And give us a nice, beautiful stir. Mix it all the way and bring it to boil. When it's boiling, you just check it. You give it a nice mild stir. You add the rice. Drain all the water and add the rice. We make sure we mix them nicely into the gravy. And let it cook for about 10 minutes. Keep checking in between, say everything's okay. When the rice are about three quarter cooked, just feel them, taste them. That's the time that we should lower the flame to minimum and cover the pot with a piece of nice clean cloth. Put the lid on, wrap it so that it doesn't burn all the way. Keep the flame low and let it go to dumb, which means we, we choke the top and the whole pot goes into dumb for about 20 to 30 minutes. After 20 minutes, take the lid off and let's have a look. Uh, it looks beautiful. Now fluff the rice and before that, taste it. Mm, they're beautifully cooked. Now fluff the rice very gently. You don't want to break it at this stage. Absolutely gorgeous. Fluff it and leave it for another 10 minutes on a dumb so that you have a little bit of dry look. Because in the last 10 minutes, we can see that it could do with a little more dumb to dry the water. You have to gently fluff it. Let's give it another go. I can't resist my temptation. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, let's let's put it up for another 10 minutes. After further 10 minutes, take off the lid and wow, beautiful aroma. And that seems to be it's okay, stay. Let's have a look. Let's fluff the rice again. And I want to see the beautiful crust underneath. Let's have a look. Lovely. Absolutely fantastic aroma and very nice. Chicken is falling off the bone. And let's plate it and have a taste. Have a taste because the dish is ready now. And this pilau is absolutely fantastic aroma. Let's have this one. Have a little bit of uh, 
chicken, which is absolutely nice, falling off the bone. Enjoy your meal and thank you for watching.